So in this video, I'm going to review the Phoenix HL50 headlamp and also just talk a little bit about why I think uh, more people should own headlamps or could benefit from them that might not have considered them. So um, just starting off, uh, I've had this headlamp for many years now. I'm not sure exactly how long. Uh, this particular model has actually been discontinued. I think the closest thing you can get now looking at their website is the Phoenix HM50R V2.0. So the reason that I chose this particular model when I bought it was I really liked the uh, simplicity of the design. The fact that it is just one band with the really simple little light uh, that's, you know, you could, if you wanted to, fully detach from the band. Um, it's very compact. Uh, you know, it's solid construction. I didn't look it up, but it's pretty much all aluminum uh, other than, you know, the lens and the button itself. Uh, so it's definitely uh, sturdy and, and robust. So my experience with this particular light, um, it's honestly been almost 100% positive. Uh, it's got three modes. So again, nice and simple. It's got low, medium, well that's okay now, low, medium, high, and then you hold it to turn off, and then when you turn it back on, it stays on the same mode you were on. Um, I generally use pretty much mode two, medium all the time. I've never really, uh, I mean, I guess I would use the brighter mode, uh, but it just, it's gonna sap the battery too, too long. So the, the medium mode is, is enough light to get by with, without draining the battery too quickly. Um, and low would be nice if you knew that you needed to get as much battery life out of it as possible. Um, but really medium is gonna be what provides enough light to do most tasks. So um, the one thing I would say with this particular headlamp um, that has been the biggest downside for me is I use it quite a lot. Um, and I'll get to that in a second, what I'm using it for. But the one downside I found is that replacing the battery, so this takes a CR123A, um, and it just takes the one battery, but it is surprisingly difficult to do. Like there's no quick way to do a change. You have to unscrew this bottom cap and because of the design of the light and the way that it connects to the band, um, it's really kind of tedious. Like you can't do big turns. You just saw my hand slipped. It's, you know, with the O-ring to make it waterproof, it's, it's pretty snug and it takes quite a lot of force. And so you sit here, you know, for a few minutes by the time you've gotten it off and back on just to to open it and and reclose it once the new battery's in so that can definitely get frustrating when you're having to do changes frequently um, if you're using it a lot uh you know it's, it's i'm sure there's a way you could disassemble it a little further like if you pop if you pop it off the problem is this is still in the way so you i mean you literally yeah there's no way around that because you have to unscrew it to get it off so yeah, there's really no way around it. It's just not the easiest way um, or, the, or the quickest battery swap out. But other than that, uh, I've really uh, gotten a lot of good use out of it. No issues. Um, and it's it's done really well for me. So, um, but beyond this headlamp in particular, I just wanted to kind of go into why I think a lot more people could benefit from having a headlamp in general. Uh, so what I've primarily used this for is working on projects so and when i say projects i mean for me it's primarily been home improvement so i you know within the last couple of years um, bought a home and then basically completely remodeled it and did a lot of the work myself um, and i also do quite a bit of work on i have a, two motorcycles right now uh, two vehicles pretty much do all the maintenance myself a headlamp is just really, really useful for all those tasks for many reasons. So for example, when I'm working on a car and I'm underneath it, you know, rather than trying to have another object in my hand, meaning a, like a work light of some sort that I'm trying to hook onto something or lay on the floor at the right angle and then not block it with my hands or my head, having something that's just affixed to my head and is going to be, you know, providing light wherever I'm looking and facing my head and 
you know, there are times when I might not have, you know, I still might have my hands that are blocking it in certain positions. But for the most part, there's just no comparison as far as um, getting light where you need it. Uh, and beyond that, working on things like the home improvement projects. I mean, I the amount of light you need to get with some of these work lights. I mean, you can buy really nice work lights with stands and I used one of those a lot, but moving that around, plugging it in, moving it from room to room, or just working in a corner or some crevice where there's just no way that you're not going to physically block the light from that. Or, you know, again, just having to constantly adjust it versus having something on your head that as you're moving between rooms, between projects, working in tight spaces, you always have the light right where you need it and you're not blocking it. Um, so I've just found that there's really no replacement for a headlamp when working on home improvement projects um, or working on, you know, cars, motorcycles. Uh, it's just been indispensable. Another benefit of this design that I liked uh, was it has a really good mechanism for pointing the light up or down. Uh, it's, you know, I don't have a ton of experience with other headlamps, but some of the cheaper ones, you know, they're on kind of a little hinge and the whole assembly moves, but if you bump it or maybe it'll just work its way back down, this, it'll rotate within this mount here. And it's, I mean, it's not difficult to rotate, but it's certainly, once it's rotated, it's really not going to move unless you uh, re-rotate it. If it gets bumped around, it's, it's, it's just, it's going to stay where it's at. And that's really, really important, especially when you're working on um, something like on a vehicle where you need the light in a very specific area. So I think a lot of people think of headlamps as exclusively kind of an outdoors uh, thing for, you know, people that are exploring caves and camping and hiking. And, and I've used, you know, used this a little bit outside doing stuff, but um, really the vast majority of my work has been, or my use rather, has been um, using it for working and, and getting stuff done. So uh, definitely something to consider if you do a lot of home improvement, you work on your vehicles, I would highly recommend getting a headlamp. I've found that uh, this one has been great, although like I said, it's discontinued. Uh, I'll put a link in the description for the newer version.